Hi, my name is Craig Mashad and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to make a twist lock extension cord for a generator. How do we do it? Very simple. A few parts at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. You get it at any uh, electrical supply house. You need a female and a male. Twist lock. You want to do four wire because remember you want to do two hots, one neutral and one ground. You're also going to need some four wire SJO. Now, what you have to understand is, when you buy Romex, you get two wire, it gives you a hot wire, a neutral wire, and a ground wire, but when you buy SJO, we're, we're looking for, this would typically be a three wire, but it's actually considered four wire and SJO, so you have to understand when you're making an SJO cord, you actually count the ground in the wire count. Let me show you how to make this. So we'll start with the outlet, we'll start with the female end. Okay, your female end, you're going to have, on your female end, you're going to have a green, you're going to have an X, you're going to have a W, and you're going to have a Y. Now, what you need to understand, G is always going to be green, W is always going to stand for white or your neutral. X is going to be one of your hot conductors and Y is your other hot conductor. We're using a larger SJO cord so you're going to take out the little black spacer pieces. You're going to slide the base on. Now. One thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that when you slide this on that you don't have free conductor hanging out here. Slide it on. The razor knife cut it right down the middle. I like to cut about two inches. Once you cut it back, you strip off the paper. Very simple. The wire is going to slide into, so you don't want to strip it too far. Okay? So what we are going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to strip the conductor. About three eighths of an inch. The green. The green and the white are across from each other. The X and the Y, which is the hot conductors, go left to right. The way it's set up, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to give you a little tip. Twist your wires backwards and make them tight. I'm going to make your own, own solid conductor here because these wires are nice and, nice and frail here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the ground down and we're going to slide all these wires in place where they belong. Down.
Now you're going to tighten down. Now you're going to slide the retainer back up. You're going to look, there's a little notch. You're going to find that little notch. You're going to press it in place. Then you're going to tighten these two screws. Give it a little bit of a tug. And now we're going to tighten down our main screws. And that is how you put on the female end of your receptacle. Now let's do the male end. Again, same process. Remove the spacers. We take the unit apart. Slide on the retainer first. We do the same thing, we're going to strip two inches. So here we have a male end, we have X, G, Y, and W. These screws are not color coded. These screws are not color coded. So you have to go by the marking, okay? We're gonna do this the same way. We're gonna strip them 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, remember twist your wires back, bring them in nice and tight. We're going to connect it the same way. Start with the green. Then I'm going to go around the corner and I'm going to do the black. Next we'll do the white.
and the red will be the last one. That'll be the Y terminal. Okay, once you get them connected, you want to give them a little tug, make sure everything's good. You may want to go through and just give them a little bit of a another crank just to make them a little tighter. And now you put slide it up and put it together. Slide a bit, you tighten them down. Once you get it set, you lock in the retainers by tightening them up, tightening up the screws. This is how you make your own SJO extension cord for a generator. It's a twist lock, and a twist lock female, twist lock male, Slide them together, put them together, twists, now they're locked up. You can roll them up, do whatever you need to do and keep them up out of your way. But when you're ready for, when, when, you're, when you need to hire, fire up a generator, here you go. This is a very basic, very easy way to make your own extension cords for your generator. They may come with a 10 foot cord, which is more than sufficient enough, but depending on where you can put your outlet, you may have to make a 30 foot extension cord or a 12 foot extension cord or a 15 foot extension cord. Can you buy all this stuff? Absolutely. But it's very simple to go to Home Depot to make a, you know, get a list of material you need, which is nothing more than a male and a female, which I'll put in the description below of everything that I used. And you can just make your own extension cord to whatever size you need it it'll work. Hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please do. Please subscribe. And happy hooking up generators. Okay. Have a great day and be safe.